Well, Curtis, if it's anything like this season, it should be entertaining, right? I mean, the Gators playing in their second straight New Year's Six Bowl game, going for that 11-win season, the recruiting class number eight in the country. It is good to be a Gator right now. Of course, I say all that, and Florida was disappointed to play in this game. They wanted to be in the college football playoff. They want to compete for national titles. That's the kind of standard Dan Mullen is trying to bring back to Florida. I mean, he won two national championships, 2006, 2008, as an offensive coordinator. He believes he can get the Gators back to that level again. Yeah, Sharon, at the beginning of the season, most teams set their sights on the college football playoff, and the Florida Gators were no different. They were very clear that was their goal from the get-go. But I got to say, Sharon, Miami Beach, not a bad bowl destination. The Gators getting a chance to relax this afternoon here at Miami Beach. The afternoon complete with Gators sandcastles and, of course, some swimming. Kyle Pitts leading the charge out into the ocean, just as he's led the team in receiving yards this season. Yeah, John, Dan Mullen, Bronco, Mendenhall, both have a ton of respect for the history of college football, the history of this game. I mean, this is the Orange Bowl we're talking about, a game that's been played every year since 1935. It's the second oldest bowl game in America. So, yeah, both these coaches believe the Orange Bowl is a great way to celebrate their seasons. When the coaches speak, when you, you get two great teams playing against each other like we're going to have tomorrow night, look forward to a, a great game and have a, a lot of respect for uh, the University of Florida. Everybody listens. We we'll always want to finish the season on a win and on a high note. It's the day before the Orange Bowl. Everybody's getting their shot. And this is the presser. You know, you have the opportunity to, to get a win over a top 25 team, a team played for a conference championship. <laughs> Dan Mullen and the Gators looking to add to a 10-win season, playing in their second straight New Year's Six Bowl. We've had a good year. Um, obviously, you, you want to you finish it the right way. Bronco Mendenhall in Virginia. The University of Virginia has one 10-win season in 130 years of football. Well, the history of the two programs speaks for itself. On that note, it's a game that brings back memories. I mean, I grew up in New Hampshire, so usually it was snowing outside. <laughs> and A game that means you've arrived. It's a qualifying goal that either your program or your staff or your players have achieved something that um, is remarkable. Monday, one of these men will celebrate the fruits of their labor. You know, it's the tradition that makes college football so special. Yeah, Van Jefferson, Freddie Swain, Josh Hammond, Tyree Cleveland, all playing in their final game as a Gator. All these receivers leaders in their own way and Tyree Cleveland certainly one of them and he has the same attitude off the field he volunteers in the community every chance he gets he says he feels blessed to be here because he knows just how easily things could have gone the other way that's it the Florida Gators have another 10 win season the last home game of the season is important uh, my four years in Florida, it's been, it's been a good ride, you know. The last home game of your college career is something Tyree Cleveland will never forget. And then on scene, like running out that tunnel, you know, for the last time, you know, I, I'll always remember that, you know, because I put a lot of heart, sweat, blood, and tears in, into this game and into Florida. Cleveland will be remembered as a receiver that helped lead Florida to two straight New Year's Six Bowls. Now he's got a wide open man. It's Tyree Cleveland. But the legacy he leaves behind is about much more than just the game. Just me being able to just give back and just be thankful for the God to put me in a position to help kids out, um, I, I, I wouldn't take that for granted. This year, Cleveland was one of 14 players named to the All-SEC Community Service Team. He'll graduate with a degree in Family Youth Community Science and recorded over 40 hours of volunteer work this year. Come where I'm from, you know, a lot of kids don't make it out. A lot of kids get trapped into the system. A lot of kids don't have the opportunity to be where I'm at today. So anytime I get on my hands to give back, I'm willing to do it. No kid should, should grow up seeing the things that I've seen, um, losing a close, close family member. Uh, it was tough on me, but I couldn't let that, that situation, them problems slow me down. You know, I, I either had to make the um, right decision or the wrong decision. When Cleveland was 15, his older brother, Timmy Johnson, was shot and killed in Jacksonville. We were very close, you know, um, he watched me play football, watched me play Pop Warner, went to my basketball games. 
uh, just having him around, you know, that big brother just helped me with a lot of things. You know, I didn't have, I really didn't have my dad in my life. He, he was um, in and out of prison. So just having my brother to just help me with man situations, um, I really thank him for that. And just losing him, you know, it took a toll on me. He carries his brother's memory in the form of a tattoo on his left shoulder. The name Timmy Johnson in letters MBK for my brother's keeper, forever written in ink. I feel like, you know, we were very close and I just, every day I just wanted, you know, just look at something. And I just look at this and just, it just remind me of, remind me to just keep fighting, you know. Growing up, we didn't have a lot. So where I'm at now, I'm very grateful. I'm very thankful to be in the position I am now. And um, I'm not gonna stop going until I reach my goals and reach the vision I want to, want to complete. As Trask steps up, hoists one down the sideline, laying out Tyree Cleveland. That vision includes a career in the NFL and being a big brother for any kid who needs one. He refuses to let his die in vain. It's, it's, it's hard, you know, some days it get hard. Some, some days I, I feel like, you know, just giving in. But at the same time, I got to think about the people that are looking up to me, the people that are um, looking for me to just be better. A first and goal. Frank's jump pass. Hello, Timo. They say there's nothing like the taste of victory. Florida says it tastes even better with the Gator Chomp. 40 seconds in. Touchdown, Florida. 61 yards for LaMichael Piran. Florida with a 36-28 win over Virginia and the Orange Bowl. Really want to congratulate our team. I'm really proud of our players. Dan Mullen's second straight New Year's Six Bowl win. Just under a year ago, this team was born. And we talked about going from four wins to 10 wins was special. But to go from 10 to 11 is going to be a lot harder. Trask able to unload and complete the P run out of the backfield and into the end zone. He was right. Even in this game where they were heavily favored, they needed to execute to the very end. Perkins lofts one. 50 50 ball is picked off. Dan Mullen bringing back what he calls the Gator standard. You know, we, have, we haven't got to where we need to be yet but they're certainly living up to that Gator standard of, uh, of being one of the best teams and best programs in the country. The transformation possible thanks to a group of seniors that really bought in. We fight through so much, man, and just to come out on top and to leave like this, man, with a great group, group of guys, man, it's, it's awesome. Now the underclassmen tasked with raising that standard once again. Where does Florida go from here? You know, last year we had 10 win season, this year is 11 win season, so um, in our eyes, that's a huge stepping stone. Uh, it's not easy to do. And we're just going to keep on, keep on getting better every single year. And this offseason, we're going to go that much more harder. The next step would be the college football playoff. You know, and so the attention to detail, the grind, that's what we have to continue to work on, continue to take the step, and we're going to work harder next year than we did this year and try to go from 11 to 12. But for now, the Florida Gators can celebrate and savor the win. Has an orange ever tasted this good? Nah, man, it's, <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable right now, man. I'm, I'm overwhelmed with joy. From Hard Rock Stadium, Pat Welter, Spectrum Sports 360.